All right, guys, today another feature that's a little bit of a larger feature than the hand samples. Some of the ones we've done on the Featured Friday include, I've shown rocks and minerals and fossils and things like that. But as you can see here, I'm at an interesting spot. It's pretty wild looking here. This is the remnants of an old talc mine. And they, a lot of times the ones I've seen will have just like the adits, some holes that go kind of in and straight down. Um, but this one, they blasted this away, this whole wall here. Check this out, and then I'll show you the feature. So first, check it out. And while I show you, just see what you notice, because this is really cool um, to get to observe, even though it's obviously they destroyed the whole mountain. But it's one of the few ways that we can actually see a whole giant wall of rock and observe some interesting features. So yeah, isn't that just crazy looking like look at the layers you can see there I'll walk down here and show you so yeah so first off see if you can guess what I'm going to say see if there's anything obvious that looks super cool even though there's lots of things but um, yeah so in the area here let me just give you a little background like I said a lot of talc mining uh, you can see the bright light down there might have alluded to the fact that this was mined for talc um, in the area, you can find marble, um, there's iron ore, there's um, some volcanic rock, so there's uh, there's quite a bit of granite in some areas that underlie this, and then there was some um, gabbro that pushed up. In a lot of cases in these talc mining regions, it was the gabbro interacting, it was the volcanics interacting with the sedimentary rocks, um, dolomitic limestones, dolomites and limestones that existed, um, that were older, it was Paleozoic in age, and uh, they reacted together to make these talc ore bodies that are in this whole dot, the whole area is white everywhere. Um, this is common around the Death Valley Mojave region, you'll find these talc mines. So, that band up there, that dark band that you see, makes it more obvious um, that you can start to see and then, and then adjust your eyes and you can just see these layers and layers and you can kind of see the angle there. So there's a great way just to observe the angles of the rocks, but check that out right there. So there's a couple of these, right? What do you think's going on right there? There's the dark band and there's the dark band over there. So that's kind of interesting. And then if we follow this bigger dark band here down to there, there's something going on there as well. So, hopefully this is fairly easy for you guys, but just for fun, um, I just, I'm trying to find features that are cool while I'm exploring um, to show you, and there's quite, you know, a whole bucket load of them out there, so I'll randomly put these up as featured Fridays, and just for fun, I leave you guys to guess at first. I will reveal it, because I don't want to leave it open, um, but even though I will tell you what we're looking at, try to take a guess and uh, drop it in the comments and don't don't cheat just drop your guess in the comments as to what you think is going on here and i'll show you a few more interesting things around the area while you think about it and then i'll tell you what's going on here here's some of the stuff related to talc ore here laying around there's some other related minerals here but we won't go too deep into that um this is some of the volcanic stuff that's interacting with these sedimentary rocks and way down here there were some nice dendrite patterns i've done some videos on dendritic patterns um but just for fun yeah i'll show you around here the scenery is phenomenal um i had to climb actually really high up to get to here so it's kind of why i was huffing and puffing <laughs> because it's it's really steep to get up here look at that crazy cool um I don't know how old this mine is because I don't really know the background on it, but it is quite large. Some of them um, go back, are fairly old. There you go, there's an interesting view. There's some water that collected down in there. So there's that wall. So you can kind of get an idea that like that goes, that's way down there. See, I'm on the edge here. So that's, that's actually way down. Sometimes depth doesn't come in the camera. Um, that's a, just a massive wall of rock in front of us. So now let's just think about what's going on here. There's some, there's all over the place. What these are, are these lines that you see where they're off. Hopefully you notice that those are off and that that has to do with faults. And sometimes we can have minor or major faulting, but 
essentially you're looking at the offset of the rocks along a little fault or think of it as a break in the rock uh, where the rocks where there's there's one block moving in an opposite direction of the others and so the, the layers get offset so i'll talk more about faulting and folding and you know all kinds of cool features that come along with that but this is today's feature it's cool layering in these sedimentary rocks at the top line stay tuned because i will be showing many more cool geo features here at let's go geo and you can come along learn and guess and many more field adventures to come here at let's go geo so join me on the next adventure i'll see you guys next time <laughs>